Hi, this is Bob Pellerin, CTO Bob, and today I'm going to answer a question that someone sent me. Specifically, they were curious about the vCenter, uh, and the question was around not upgrading from one major version to another, such as 6.5 to 6.7, but rather when you have a version such as 6.5 or 6.7, and you simply want to add the security updates, what is an easy way to do it? Well, let me uh, take you to, I've got version seven, as you saw in a previous video, and that's still up on my test server. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that to give you a demonstration since I know there's an update. So let's go ahead and dig in. So first off, you wanna go uh, to your vCenter, or VCSA, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and put in the port 5480 right after it. So this will bring you up to the vCenter server management and let's go ahead and log in. You might not have seen this. So what it's going to show us is the version that we presently have, which is the 700, and then we've got 10100. And really it's as simple as going to the bottom where it says, bottom left here, it says update. Let's go ahead and click on update. And it's going to go ahead and check And we're going to go and check for updates. So you're going to want to click on check CD-ROM plus URL. It's going to go and fetch whatever updates there are online and bring that back. Now, if you have a version such as 6.5 or 6.7 and you're not routinely updating them, you probably would have a whole list here. The thing that is important to understand so if you're using version 6.5, 6.7, you probably have a long list here of fixes and security updates. It's really important to understand is the most recent one on there includes the previous ones, which means you don't have to, let's say you have 14 of them or you have five of them, regardless of the amount, you don't need to do them one by one. Simply do the latest one or the one that you're looking for specifically. If you happen to know there's a, a critical security fix that you need applied, you could look for it, get that version and apply that and whichever previous versions are still on there would be applied automatically since they're included. So you'd get the latest build. So in our case, we're gonna be going from the uh, 10 100 to the 10 300. And I've actually run some tests before and I've actually staged this generally. So you'd have a button here that would say stage. And what that does is it actually goes and downloads it. And then it takes quite a few minutes to wait for that. So you get to miss this at this stage. And then at this point, so I mean, I could click on unstage and show you, but then you would click on install and that's all there is to it. So let me go ahead and click on install. It's going to ask you to accept. It's going to do a pre update check. I'm not going to join exceptionally since this is a test platform and it does tell you here that you should have a backup of your vCenter. The other way that you can do um, a quick and dirty backup would be to go and create a snapshot of your vCenter just prior to doing this. Now, if you're going to do that, uh, make sure you remove the snapshot after. Snapshots are not really meant to be used as backups or to be kept long term. So it's a fast way of sort of freezing things before you do something, test it, and you can revert back. So you can go ahead and click I have backed up, do finish. And it's going to warn you here, it's going to take 119 minutes. And in my previous test that I've done, it took over an hour. I did not time it. But uh, so now what it's going to go ahead and do is it's going to stop the services on your vCenter. So your vCenter will, in effect, go down because all the services are being brought down. It's going to get updated and then it's going to come back. So please, if you enjoy this content, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. It really helps us out. So once this is done, it will disconnect us. We'll have to go back and re-log in. Okay, so as you can see, uh, what we've got here is version 7001010300. So that means that the upgrade was successful. What you missed is actually a little pop-up that said update successful. So I, I accidentally cut that out, but uh, 
so there we have it that was uh, pretty painless it did uh, honestly take uh, over an hour um, I, I did not time it very accurately but um, it was uh, it's quite long so thanks for watching we really appreciate your support and if you have more comments of course put them on the bottom so make sure that uh, to reach out to me if there's anything else you'd like to see on our channel thank you